doing a little series on gym culture. What happens in uh, gyms, how to behave in the gym, and so on. What's etiquette and all that. And I want to talk about something that, you know, first, almost every gym I've ever been in, which since I've been 16 years old, and now I own health clubs, athletic clubs, gyms, uh, multiple different business models in multiple different locations. And, you know, the, the thing that I've always enjoyed about the gym culture is it's positive. It's a positive place where people aren't mean. Are there exceptions? I'm sure there is. The people that I've seen that are different in the gyms that I've been in and that I've managed and owned for many, many years are usually just a little different. You always got that person that's a little odd and uh, you notice them. And they're kind of doing weird things in the gym. and But that's about it. Um, you, don't, you don't find mean people in the gym. Yes, there's some people that are kind of obnoxious and complain and don't like certain things. But I can't even name a handful of times that I've noticed some people in the gym that are just flat out mean. And one thing that would be mean is fat shaming. If you're overweight, come into the gym. You're going to be welcome. Not only are you going to be welcomed, you're going to be encouraged. And we've done other videos on that. And I think it's really cool that the people in the gym are there to cheer you on, encourage you, and just say way to go. You know, keep it up. Now, they might not say that because maybe they don't want to embarrass you if you're really overweight, but they're thinking it. Most of the people in the gym are going, you know what? I'm impressed. That person is inspiring. Uh, that, that person is inspiring me. Um, and just when, when you're overweight and you come into the gym and you don't really know what you're doing, you have a positive impact. And that's something that I really appreciate about the gym culture and something that I'm very proud of uh, for it being my industry. Um, health clubs are my livelihood. That's how I survive. That's where I make my income. Not from doing this stuff, you know, not from talking on social media. I just do this because it's fun and I want to encourage people to be healthy. But I don't see fat shaming in the gym and I'll tell you what man if I ever did see it um, that person wouldn't be a member <laughs> for more than a few seconds after I found out about someone fat shaming someone it's just something that I think is disgusting um, because that person is in there, they're trying, they're making an effort. It's different if you see someone who weighs 450 pounds and they're sitting in the ice cream parlor. That's a little different. They're not really trying very hard. But people that come into the gym and they're looking to get fit, they're looking to make a positive change in their life. And those people that do that, like I said, the, the positive things that people around you are thinking are a lot, even if they don't say it. They might be a little embarrassed to tell you. They might not want to tell you, you know, way to go. You're inspiring me. And the reason that they might not say that is because they don't want to embarrass you. And they don't want you to be discouraged. So if you're overweight, get in the gym. In my opinion, it's a better place <laughs> to exercise and get fit than doing it at home or doing it in private. Why? Because you're not going to get the encouragement if you do it in private. You do it at your home. I like to work out at home too, but that positive atmosphere in the gym is going to rub off on you and it's going to encourage you when you go into the gym. That And then you're going to start getting compliments. 
wow, if you lost weight, you look really good. And no, it's probably not some guy or somebody hitting on you who, you know, is trying to get a date with you. People want to be nice in the gym. They see that, wow, you've lost some weight. They want to tell you. They want to encourage you. They want you to know, keep going. I'm glad you're here. You're inspiring me. So get in there and exercise, get healthy, keep trying. And the people in the gym, 90% of them, they want to help. And if, if you have questions, let people know, let a personal trainer know they're going to help you. People in the gym who've been in the gym for many, many years and know what they're doing, they're going to stop and they really enjoy, I think, stopping and helping someone who's a beginner or not quite sure what they're doing. So I want to encourage you all, get in the gym. And I have not seen fat shaming. If I did see it, like I said, it would uh, <laughs> it would not last long in any of our facilities. So if you guys like uh, videos like this, we uh, do a lot of interviews with nutritionists, doctors, fitness experts, personal trainers, like and subscribe, hit the bell, get notified when we uh, put out new videos. And uh, it, it's we really try to target uh, beginners and people who are trying to get fit and, and maybe don't know where to start or someone people that are older who are just starting to exercise and they're feeling their age and they don't like it anymore. They want to feel better. This might be the channel for you. So we will see you all next time.